Welcome back to Only Talk Sports. So we talk sports every single day, or at least we try to. I'm your host, Jeffrey. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Now, the coaching carousel is continuing on in college basketball, and the next coach to be hired in college basketball is Micah Shrewsbury, the former Penn State head coach, is now the head basketball coach of Notre Dame. I'm going to go over what I think about Notre Dame's decision to hire Micah Shrewsbury and what I think it also means for Penn State basketball as well. Now, Micah Shrewsbury, Shrewsbury, a lot of people know him in college basketball for his time as the Penn State head basketball coach, but he's also been a butler, and he was also a Purdue assistant coach in college basketball, and he was the Celtics assistant coach in the NBA under Brad Stevens as well, which he also was under Brad Stevens at Butler, and Micah Shrewsbury has also coached in Indiana high schools, so from Shrewsbury geographically, this move to Notre Dame makes absolute sense because of the fact Micah Shrewsbury has been in Indiana hoops for a long time in high school school and as an assistant. So I think that this move going to Notre Dame, being back in the state of Indiana, really works well for Micah Shrewsbury. He should be able to recruit at a pretty high level in the state and be able to compete with Indiana and Butler and Purdue for recruits in the state. He should be able to do a decent job at that. It will be tough going up against those other schools, but he should be able to recruit well in the Midwest. And Notre Dame's a much bigger school than Penn State in basketball. And I think since Micah Shrewsbury showed that he could have success at Penn State, it should hopefully translate for the Notre Dame Fighting Irish as well because you look at Micah Shrewsbury Shrewsbury. He went 14 and 17 and 7 and 13 in the Big Ten in his first season as the Penn State Nittany Lions head coach. He had a basketball team that really tried, but they just could not get over the hump in the Big Ten. But in his second and final season at Penn State, they went 23 and 14, 10 and 10 in the Big Ten, and they went to the round of 32. And he brought in a transfer from Siena and Jalen Pickett. And he also had a transfer as well in Andrew Funk. And overall, you look at the roster. Micah Shrewsbury did a fantastic job with the Penn State roster because of the fact he had a team full of players that most of the players were from smaller schools. He did have a few returnees in Seth Lundy and Miles Dredd from the previous coaching staff at Penn State. But still, he didn't have a lot of talent at Penn State. And he was able to make the roster improve from his first year to his second year. And Penn State was able to make the tournament and get their first in. NCAA tournament win since 2001. That was huge for Micah Shrewsbury and now he's moving on to Notre Dame. Now this is a really tough loss for Penn State because you look at Penn State. They're a basketball program that does not get a lot of support because Penn State's football team gets all the attention and I think that Penn State really wanted to keep Micah Shrewsbury and there were warning signs the longer the season was going on and Penn State was having more success and a lot of these coaching jobs were becoming open especially when Mike Bray was open for Notre Dame. Georgetown was open as well. A lot a lot of people thought Micah Shrewsbury would either go to Georgetown or Notre Dame. Ed Cooley's going to Georgetown, so Micah Shrewsbury's going to Notre Dame, but there were warning signs, and I think that Penn State, they did give Micah Shrewsbury a big lucrative offer to stay at Penn State, but they were not able to match what Notre Dame is able to give for Micah Shrewsbury. They're giving him a seven-year deal, and Penn State probably would have given Micah Shrewsbury a pretty solid extension. Shrewsbury didn't take it because it's not as much money as what Notre Dame's giving him. Plus, also, I think Notre Dame just is a much better job than Penn State. They have much better resources. They have much better fan support in college basketball. They're going to be able to support Micah Shrewsbury and be able to get him the recruits that he needs to get to be able to have success in the ACC. And you look at the Big Ten, it's a really tough conference. There's a lot of really big brands in basketball in the Big Ten, and Penn State's just not one of those brands. And I think you look at the ACC right now, Duke and North Carolina has a lot of turnover right now with their coaches coaching staffs and they're kind of struggling right now and you look at some of the other teams in the ACC they're not doing that well. I think Notre Dame is a really good chance with Micah Shrewsbury to be able to move up the ACC ladder and be able to have a lot of success because again you look at Notre Dame they are a school that has a lot of support they have a lot of money they're going to be able to support Micah Shrewsbury much better than the support he got at Penn State and even though Notre Dame is primarily a football school Notre Dame does support the basketball team much better than Penn State does and I think that Micah Shrewsbury will be able to have the luxury being in a conference that right now is a lot of turmoil a lot of the teams are not playing that well in the ACC I think he'll be able to make Notre Dame a better basketball team and he will be in the shadow of the Notre Dame football team so he won't have the pressure to succeed right away Mike Bray even though Notre Dame is struggling right now and they were toward the bottom of the ACC the barrel is not completely empty for Notre Dame I think that in the transfer portal era Micah Shrewsbury will be able to bring in some recruits in the portal and also be able to recruit at a pretty high level at Notre Dame and I think that Micah Shrewsbury will have a lot of success at Notre Dame especially if he can turn it around in the next two to three years and at least get Notre Dame to the tournament again then I think there's 
no way Micah Shrewsbury will get fired. I think this is a really good decision for Micah Shrewsbury to go to Notre Dame. It is tough to leave Penn State, especially when you were starting to get things going with the Nittany Lions, and they were starting to trend in the right direction. But I think in the long run, Penn State was never going to be a fantastic basketball team because they weren't going to have the greatest support. And I think Micah Shrewsbury could have had a lot of success at Penn State, but he's going to be at a much more stable job at Notre Dame. And as long as he has a lot of success at Notre Dame, he can get the Fighting Irish to the tournament in two or three years. He won't get fired. He should have a lot of success. So I think this is a really good move geographically for Micah Shrewsbury because he is an Indiana guy through high school and as an assistant coach in college basketball. He has his roots in the state of Indiana. I think this is a great move geographically for Micah Shrewsbury. Financially, he's going to be making more money and he's going to have a lot more success at a bigger school as long as he can turn it around with the support that Notre Dame will give him. I think this is a great move for Micah Shrewsbury. But for Penn State, this is a really tough loss. Hopefully for the Nittany Lions, they can hire another good coach that they can maybe keep for longer and maybe be able to give him the contract that he would want, whoever the head coach will be, to be able to stay at Penn State if he has success. And hopefully for Penn State, they can still be a really good basketball team in the Big Ten because Micah Shrewsbury has built up the Nittany Lions to a point where they just made the NCAA tournament. But hopefully Penn State can get a new head coach that has a lot of success like Micah Shrewsbury. And hopefully for Notre Dame, Micah Shrewsbury really works out as their next head basketball coach and as long as Micah Shrewsbury does what he did at Penn State with what he's going to have at Notre Dame and be able to win even more then I think the hire is really going to work out. Subscribe to the channel if you like sports content like this video down below comment down below what you think about Micah Shrewsbury being hired away from Penn State to the Notre Dame Fighting Irish basketball team and whether you think Micah Shrewsbury made the right decision to leave Penn State for Notre Dame and whether you think Penn State and Notre Dame will have success in the future. Follow me on Twitter as well and I'll see you next time.